Hey everybody, I recently had a subscriber ask me about the AEI sites. Um, these are the sites that they use to count the cars. And so I looked into it a little bit. I know a lot about them, but I spoke to uh, the communications tech who still works here. And he told me a little bit about how they work. So let's go check one out and uh, see what's going on. All right. We're at uh, North Bakersfield. This is where single track turns into double track or vice versa, depending on the direction you're going. We are looking east right here and west uh, towards the Kern River Bridge. But anyway, this is an AEI site, one of the car counters. And uh, the way these work is there is a presence detector here, much like the type at an intersection that uh, detects the presence of cars to help change the lights. There's a transducer right there that trips the beam for the axles. Now, the way these work is uh, you have a 900 megahertz uh, radio signal that's sent from the equipment inside that house at this particular location. The radio equipment is in the house at North Bakersfield. At some of these sites, they have their own standalone cabins with their equipment in them. And uh, these actually emit a radio wave that reflects off the uh, card on the side of each car. And it reflects that information back here. It is picked up by the equipment in the house and sent out, in our case, to Omaha over a cell phone. And all that equipment is in the house and it's very small, uh, set up as about the size of a shoebox, I'm told. I spoke to the ComTech, as I said this morning, and there aren't very many people in my life that can make me feel stupid, but uh, our ComTech was certainly one of them. Uh, but anyway, um, this information is used to keep track of every car on the system. Um, there are many of these sites. They're, they're all over the place. And every Class 1 railroad in America uses them, probably Canada too. But uh, it's a much easier way to keep track of where cars are than uh, the old days of trying to follow paper trails. Uh, all they have to do is pull up the car ID and they'll know exactly where it is, or at least the last AEI site that it passed. So anyway, that is how the AEI system works to identify which cars are where on the railroad. All right, all right. I am in the Bakersfield yard and I came here so I could get a shot of this. This little puck looking thing right here that's attached to the side of the car. These are on every car. They're on both sides. And there is a reader, as you saw, uh, on each side of the track. So it doesn't matter which direction the train is going. Uh, the reader will catch the car and these have a, a information actually burned into them. This is all computerized stuff. And the uh, reader, when it, once this information is reflected back to the reader, everything that is attached to this car, who the owner is, who the customer is, uh, where it is on the system, everything, all that information uh, will be transmitted by a cell phone into the uh, communications equipment and sent to a server somewhere on the system. I don't know where, probably Omaha. And that will tell the, not only the company where everything is, but I'm told that the uh, customer can actually access this information too, so they know where their stuff is at all times. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed the piece on the AEI sites, and AEI, by the way, stands for Automatic Equipment Identification. But uh, 
I learned some stuff about them. Uh, I didn't actually know very much about them, but uh, know a little more about them now, and I hope you do too. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see y'all later.